Hi, this is Marcin, and in this video, you will learn everything you need to know about saving images in Photoshop. We will talk about different saving methods, about the differences between them, and what is the best way to save images in Photoshop. Before we start, if you are someone interested in Photoshop and retouching, you might want to check my educational page Retouching Ninja, where I offer quite a few premium retouching courses. At this moment, I highly recommend my best sellers bundle, where I offer five courses together with 70% discount. And there will be much more uh, coming to this bundle. So it might be a good idea uh, to take this if you want to learn professional retouching techniques. Back to our tutorial. In Photoshop, I would distinguish three major methods that allow you to save images. Let's have a look at them. The first one, save as. Very popular, especially if you are a beginner and that's something you would usually choose. So that's the first method. The second one will be export as. Uh, very uh, popular at this moment. I think someone who has some um, knowledge about Photoshop often choose this method. And the first one, save for web. So I'm going to compare three of them. I'm going to start with uh, save as. So this is the basic one. We have the window where we want to save the image. Of course, we need to cho choose the format and I will be choosing the JPEG because um, this is how we save the image if we want to post it on the internet or send it to our friend. And the problem is usually when we save this in the JPEG format, there will not be problem if we save it as the thief. And there's one option we have to choose here, embed color profile or do not. First thing you need to know about this method, it will preserve the size of your image. So if you need to preserve the pixels per inch, this is the way you do it, especially if you work with something more than 72 pixels uh, per per inch. So for this image, I was working 300 pixels per inch. This will be preserved. And this point is very important. I'm working in Photoshop with color profile that is Adobe RGB. If I do not preserve it, it will be automatically uh, thinking of uh, this. It won't be recognizing this color profile when I will open this in Photoshop and probably the colors will be quite significantly downgraded. And then I would have to match this color profile. It's a little bit confusing for now, but uh, let's see how it looks. I'm choosing save. We also will have to choose the quality of the image, which is uh, secondary. This is not so important. That will be just uh, the quality, but it will not affect the outcome of the colors. So I'm saving this. Also, if you save this way, keep in mind that you actually don't know the color profile that your customer use if you save the image this way. So sometimes you save this way, you send to the customer, it doesn't look right. So as you can see, the colors look absolutely horrible. To make it right, we would have to go to edit and assign the profile because the profile wasn't assigned when we were saving this. So as always, the, the image, uh, the JPEG image is having different uh, color space, but now uh, it doesn't remember what profile this image was worked on. And you always want to keep the same profile that you were working on this image. So then I would have to change it. Otherwise, it will look wrong. And also you would have to inform all of your customers about this. So if you save this method, I would encourage you to always go to save, save as, and make sure you embed color profile. And this way you will make sure that the colors will look right. So it will take a while, but let's have a look. I'm going to keep maximum quality once again this way. It might take a little bit to save this image. And then it will look better. So as you can see, now the color profile is uh, recognized. And 
if we go to image and see image size, as you can see, the resolution of the image was also preserved. So we can only save the image in two ways, choosing save as. Let's close it and let's have a look into the other methods. What we know at this time is the fact that when we save through the save as and publish image on the internet, the colors might be not right. So the next method I'm going to show you can guarantee that the colors will be viewed in the right way. So I'm going to export and choosing export as. In the window, we can set few things such as format. The thing that I really like here is the fact that we can choose the scale of the image. So if the image is too large and we need to make it smaller, we can easily do it here and be very precise about this. The problem that I have with export as is the metadata. So we are not able to bring the metadata about the resolution of the image. And because of this, using export as, we will always downgrade the resolution of the image to 72 pixels per inch. But when it comes to color space, we have really great options to make sure that the image has the right colors. So when saving via save as, this is the starting point if we do not embed color profile. And as you can see, if we wouldn't check these boxes here, the image will appear desaturated, as you can see right now. So the other option that we had was embed color profile. But of course, to make sure that the image will be displayed in the all devices in the right way, we need to convert the image to the S RGB profile so it will stay the same across all of the devices. And the reason why I also check embed color profile here is because I had the experience when I was working with the customer, I would just convert to sRGB, but my customer would open the image in some software and work in the Adobe RGB color profile and the images would be appearing more saturated. So then after I also embed color profile, this issue was solved. So make sure if you save this way, if you want to make sure that the colors will get the best, make sure you will check these two boxes, convert to sRGB and embed color profile. Then we just export this. So I will export this in the same place and we'll see how it looks like. So also exporting through this way my uh, take some time this is really small process and you will see the problem that i have with this maybe not a problem but i feel there could be done much more in way of downgrading this resolution it's not a big problem if we save for ourselves or for the internet but it might be problem for the customer so if we need to deliver the jpegs with 300 pixels per inch this is not the way to save. So how we can make sure that the colors would be right and that resolution would be right? It's the old way of saving. Export and save for web. And the fact that this is old way of saving tell you something about the updates of Photoshop that there could be done much more. So once again, I will embed color profile I will convert this to sRGB and to make sure that I would prevent uh, the resolution is to keep metadata and keep it all. So keep the all metadata of the image visible. So all information about the image will get preserved. So once it's all done, of course, the quality at 100 uh, color profile embed converted to all profile and all metadata preserved, then we can save. And you will see the color result will be exactly the same as we would do it export as, but also uh, we will be able to preserve the resolution of the image. So I believe there is much more 
uh, to do when it comes to saving in Photoshop, but it will answer your question how to save if we get some problems with the colors. So if we don't care about the resolution, I would say always save via export as and make sure you check these two boxes to to be sure that your colors will be displayed in the right way. And you have problems if you have problems with the colors, this will solve it. If you need the different resolution, you can save via save as, but here is always um, might appear some problems with the colors or use the old way of saving and save for web. If you ask me how I save my images, uh, if this is personal image, I might do it via export as if I just want this for the internet or something. But when it comes to professional work, I don't save my images in Photoshop. I always save them in Lightroom. So to make this tutorial complete, I will show you how I do it in Lightroom and why I do it. When I work in Photoshop and I have all of these layers here, I can later open this old T file in Lightroom. And not only one, I can open all set of the images. Then I can add some final adjustments. I can make sure that I will export bigger number of images just by pressing Command or Shift and selecting them all, and then going to File and Export. And when it comes to export options in Lightroom, they are far superior than what Photoshop has to offer. First of all, we can easily choose the folder where we want to save it. We can create the subfolder where we want to save it. So I can choose name, JPEG, for example, preserve the same file name, choose the format of this image, make sure the resolution is right. If I want to preserve 300 pixels per inch, I will do it. If I need anything else, I will do it as well. Even when I need to change it, I also can change it here without changing this in image size in Photoshop. I can just do it here when I export. Preserve all of the metadata and then I can just hit export. So this is how I do it and this is how you can do it too. This is how you can save images in Photoshop as well. You got all of the information. So for now, Thank you for watching. Make sure to check the links in the description if you want to learn some more Photoshop, if you want to visit my portfolio. It's all there. And for now, thank you and see you in the next tutorial.